House fire murder in quiet Brit town on New Year's Day. Three people are believed to have been murdered after a fire swept through a house in a quiet British town. The fire swept through the house in Curtin, Lynx, on New Year's Day in the early hours of the morning. Three people are confirmed to have died inside the detached house, where the fire broke out around 3 a.m. The incident is currently being treated as domestic-related murder. According to a police statement, it will take time to formally identify the bodies but they believe they know who the deceased are. Cops have confirmed that due to the ferocity of the fire, the investigation would take longer to complete. Shocking images from the scene show the house with its roof burnt off and windows smashed. Sub D. I. Coulson said, This is a tragic crime and our thoughts are with the family and friends of those involved. We are in contact with the families and will ensure that this is a thorough investigation as we try and understand what happened. No one else is being sought in connection with the incident, police added. An appeal has been launched for anyone with information about the occupants of the address or was driving in the area to contact police. A Lynx police spokesman added, it will take some time to formally identify them but at this time we believe we know who they are and their families have been notified and family liaison officers are in contact with them. We can confirm that we are treating this as a domestic related murder investigation, but we are not looking for anyone else in connection with this. Six people are reported to have been killed and at least 16 injured in a train crash in Denmark. The incident happened on the Great Belt Bridge connecting the Danish islands of Zealand and Funen. The bridge has now been shut with reports that people are being evacuated. No cause is yet known for the crash, but early indications suggest objects from a cargo train hit a passenger train en route to Copenhagen in a heavy storm. Emergency services are reportedly struggling to reach the train. Earlier I spoke to Anish Kongshau, who is a local journalist in Copenhagen, where the passenger train was heading. I asked him about the rescue efforts. Well, there's a crisis centre being set up and we'll, we'll have a new press conference at 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock local time on one of the sides of the bridge. And basically it's a huge bridge in Denmark. It's uh, 10 miles long. Uh, 1.6 of the miles is a hanging bridge. And there's 10 million cars using the bridge every every year is connecting the east and the west of the country. It would be like a bridge connecting Ireland with England crossing the Isle of Man. I mean, it's a really, really important bridge here. And um, there's a four track motor car way on the top. And then there's the train underneath. And um, the bridge opened after a storm called Afrida uh, during the night at seven o'clock this morning, it opened. And then at 7.35, uh, the cover of the Carlsberg wagon uh, uh, fell off and the beers was all over and hitting the train and that basically caused the accident. Um, now traffic is slowly moving again, uh, mostly wagons, there's uh, one million wagons every year crossing the bridge and um, uh, so they are slowly slowly getting the traffic to move again uh, but there's, it's still very very uh, still very very big and confusing and and a terrible accident and uh, the police are still uh, getting hold of the families and uh, there's a rescue number that you can call in for the 16 engines, uh, 16 people that is um, having their families calling in as I wanted to say and you know so it's a big it's a big thing yeah. We were seeing pictures of the tarpaulin on the side of those um, trains transporting uh, yeah. Carlsberg, clearly, we can see from the, the writing on the sides of the tarpaulin, uh, that the tarpaulin is, is just torn. Um, right. How much of a factor has the weather been in what, what's happened here? Well, it's a huge wind, uh, 26 yards per second. We call it 25 meter per second. And uh, it's a strong wind coming straight from north, which is just crossing on the side of the bridge. So it's it's very difficult. Uh, that's why they had to close the, the bridge and most of the bridges in Denmark, actually. Uh, um, so uh, so it's, it's very scary to go there. Of course, with a train, it's more safe to go there. And that's uh, probably why the traffic was still moving. Uh, but the wind has just been too strong for the for the cars bear wagon. Thank you very much indeed for updating us. Thank you.